Hey friends, it's Evelyn. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be talking all about my plans for the summer, my summer job slash internship, how I got it and where I'm working and what it's all about. So without further ado, let's just get started. So if you are new here, my name is Evelyn and I am an environmental science and policy major at Clarkson University with minors in communication and literature in the arts literature. And I just finished my sophomore year, so I'm gonna be a junior. It's crazy. But this summer I was really looking to have a cool environmental internship in some sort of field. I applied to a whole bunch of them, either didn't hear back or didn't get accepted. And then finally, through Clarkson's Career Center, which is a really awesome resource, I got an email talking about this opportunity at the Clarkson Beacon Institute for Rivers and Estuaries. And I was like, what the heck? Let me apply to this. I sent in my resume, got a Zoom interview, and well, there you go. Now I have my internship at the Beacon Institute. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about what the Beacon Institute is, and then I'll talk about what I'm going to be doing this summer. So in 2011, the Beacon Institute became part of Clarkson University, and it is a campus of Clarkson University located in Beacon, New York, in the Hudson Valley. And the Beacon Institute is all about community and science, research and development, and education. There's a lot of focus on collaboration and creativity and innovation to try to inspire sustainable solutions for estuary and freshwater ecosystems throughout the Hudson Valley and across New York State. And a lot of this information I'm getting it from Clarkson's website, which I will have linked down below if you want to check out more about these awesome resources and the Beacon Institute. So lots of healthy water solutions and water research goes on here, as well as educational services, including K through 12 public and family and professional graduate program, educational programs. So a whole range of people from all different ages can come and learn about the environment at the Beacon Institute. So Dennings Point, where the main like research facilities of the Beacon Institute are located, is a 64 acre peninsula that juts into the Hudson River. And it's part of the Hudson Highlands State Park. So there's lots of great collaboration between Clarkson and the New York State Office of Parks, Recreation and Historic Preservation. The educational facility that's on Denning Point is also LEED Gold certified, which is super cool. And as I mentioned, this location hosts educational programming for all ages. They also host conferences and panels on lots of different environmental issues and initiatives. And they also support investigative environmental research and it acts as an interpretive visitor center for the park. And a new building is being built for educational programs and community science and solar panels are going in. Lots of cool things are happening. Again, I will have a website linked down below with all of this information. The Beacon Institute is just a great opportunity for local community members as well as Clarkson students and faculty to participate in environmental research that has to do with the Hudson River watershed and learning more about estuaries and the importance of protecting the Hudson River. So my official job title for the summer is summer program assistant, and I'm going to be helping out with lots of summer programs. So the Beacon Institute hosts summer camps for middle school and high school age students throughout the summer. And I'm going to be helping plan those and come up with lessons and activities and things like that. And I'm also going to be helping work on writing like text blurbs for new exhibits and displays and other things that are going to be put up on the walls as ways that community members can come in and learn more about the Hudson River and what the Beacon Institute is doing. And I'm really into writing and communication, so this is really cool for me, getting to work on really trying to find the best way to communicate environmental ideas to the public. Yesterday, I actually went and helped out with a homeschool program that they have where kids can come and have like a Mother Nature and Me type activity where they like play outside and learn about nature. I'm really looking forward to getting to work with kids from all ages, but I'm particularly excited to work with middle schoolers and high schoolers to see if, you know, I'm really into being a high school teacher or not. I'm trying to figure that out. But it's going to be a lot of fun just helping out with these summer camps and also helping to work on an invasive species project and writing these like text informational blurbs that are going to go up in our different educational and communicative displays. If you have any questions, you can check out the websites I have linked down below and you can also leave a comment down below or message me on Instagram and ask anything you'd like and I will get back to you. And yeah, let's just make this summer fantastic get vaccinated, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.